because you know how I got into deliverance. I, I got born again in New Zealand, and I, um, I, I, got, I received the Holy Spirit, and I didn't even know the Bible. I, I didn't have a clue. I didn't even know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I think I've been to church once in my life, and that's probably when I got baptized as a baby. And um, I, I went high. I said to the guy that led me to the Lord, because he did deliverance. And uh, I was 28 at that stage, and my I, I got born again, and I went home, and my wife at that stage mm. just, she said, where have you been? I said, I just got born again. I was so excited, you know, <laughs> and she just came at me like just like this and just attacked me, eh? just literally just threw herself, just scratching me and carrying on. I'm going, oh, I don't know what to do. And then uh, he told me that's a demon. And then uh, I said to him at work, I said, if God ever showed me a demon, I believe in God with all my heart. I said it that day, and I didn't realize, but God had it all planned for me. Yeah, I went yeah. home that night, and she started attacking and scratching me and carrying on. And then she, her arms started going like this. When I said, stop that, her arms started going like this, like, like going like that. And I'm going, what, what's going on with your arms? And she said, I don't know, it's just my nervous. And I said, whoa, I said, pretty heavy nervous. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, she was ended up in, went from anger to depression. She ended up sitting on the toilet. Yeah. And the, yeah. sitting in the bedroom and she was crying. The Lord said to me, I thought, go to her. I heard, go, in my spirit, go to her. I thought, oh, go to her. I lifted up her head and I said, uh, be strong. And I was kneeling in front of her. Man, I'm telling you, I've never to this day seen anything like it. It was <laughs> it was like the exorcist, full on. You know, and the eyes, to, the veins just shot across her eyes and then were just blood red eyes with, with veins just about bursting. And then the eyes, they shot up into the top of the eye sockets. Then her face turned into a, came into a demon looking at me, yeah. like on her face. And then... Uh, so I'm looking at this, you know, our pupils are up there, and the demon, and then her arms started going like that, and then she just went like that, and this was just going, Wah! like that, and I'm just <laughs> like, whoa, and I got thrown back, and I was freaking out. I just thought, wow, you know, how awesome is God, though, you know? You know, I said, if God ever showed me a demon, I would believe in him with all my heart. <laughs> now, I kept my word. I kept my word. And then after that, I was just walking around like, wow. I was just looking in the shops and everything, just going, yeah, this whole place is just controlled by Satan, you know? Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, and that was a big eye opener for me. And then about, uh, I went back to mm -hmm. work and I said to Ken what happened. And he said, well, I told you she got demons. And uh, I said, well, I know now. And uh, I said to Kim, I said, well, if anyone would have demons, it would be me. Why haven't I manifested? You know, or something happened to me. Well, I went home again that night, and God was waiting for me. And uh, I was trying to, she was sitting on the couch, and she was looking at me like, you know, because she thought I was crazy. And um, I was trying to preach to her about, you know, getting born again and saved. And I was reading this book uh, called The Work of the Holy Spirit, and it was Isaiah 61. And I was reading Isaiah 61. I didn't know what I was reading. I didn't even know the word. You know, I just just thought, whatever it is, I'm going to read it to her. And, uh, you know, I got halfway through Isaiah 61. She's sitting on the couch looking at me like I'm crazy. And then all of a sudden, the blood just started draining out of my head. And I just went, whoa. And I just hit the floor and just started shaking, eh, just violently. And I just went, my whole body went cold ass. And I thought, whoa, I thought this is powerful. Mm. Whatever mm. this is, it scared me because I realized whatever I'd read had Hit done it. this. Yeah. yeah. And I, it freaked me out. And then I was just shaking all night. I couldn't get warm. No, I didn't sleep at all. <coughs> and, um, anyway, to cut a long story short, you know, when I had deliverance <coughs> that weekend. But, so, yeah, so there, that's how I got into deliverance. And then I think it was a little bit after that. Uh, three weeks after becoming born again, I cast a demon out of my wife, you know, and that was pretty awesome because I didn't know, I didn't know the words. So I just started praying in tongues. Yeah. I didn't even know if tongues were real at that stage. So 
she manifested and bang, this thing come out of her mouth. And, but it was a bad mood because she wasn't a Christian. I didn't know what it was doing then. All right. So okay. that, then the all hell broke loose. And I, I, yeah, I learned a lot about deliverance uh, through her because she had a lot of demons and she had some violent ones. She had murder and, right. you know, Jezebel and the whole, there was a whole gang. Yeah.